Hi everybody. Um, I'm deciding to take a really huge leap of faith and I'm actually going to stand up, walk back, and have my whole body <laughs> shown with clothes. Um, and then I will actually talk about numbers as far as kind of where I started and all the things that I haven't been um, brave enough to do yet. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to step back. Hold on. Okay, here I am. So, um, yeah. Okay, so here's front, and these were actually the pants that I've talked about in the past about. These were the pants that were my goal jeans to get into after my four day fast that I did. And they are actually starting to get kind of loose. I can actually grab fabric, especially in the buttocks area, uh, which is good because, um, you know, that means that I'm going down, right? And What's a little bit hard though is they are my favorite jeans and I can't seem to find them um, anywhere even if I wanted a second pair so if I want to get them in a smaller size later I have a bad feeling I'm going to be flat out of luck but um, well you know such is life things have to change so okay here's the front of me here's the side of me and oh scary enough as it is here's the back of me um, all right so this is me after losing 19.4 on HCG. Here I am with the stats. Um, I had to go run up and get my paper. And before I explain the stats, I do want to also repeat, um, and I'm sorry if this is too repetitive for anybody, but. Um, I was over 200 pounds when I did my 40-day fast. I lost 40 pounds with that. I did do other fasts after that and never lost near that amount of weight. I put myself in total denial thinking that I pretty much was staying pretty darn close to my post-fast weight up until deciding to go on HCG. So I thought really I was going to be at my post-fast weight and then I'd be going down from there when I made my goals for um, HCG. So when I actually purchased a decent scale and I actually got weighed in on my first day prior to loading, um, I was in for a huge um, uh, not so happy surprise. So my first day that I weighed in on the 15th of January, I was 177.6. I proceeded to load very well because I went up to 178.2. And then by the day of my first actual food plan of uh, protocol, I was 180 even. So right there I knew that even though I had already set a goal that I thought, because I was thinking I was starting at like 163. That's what I thought I was starting at. So obviously I had a far cry to go before I was even going to hit that and then move on from there. And that's where I felt like, okay, then I, you know, I'll really be seeing numbers that I haven't seen in a long time. So anyway, I'm not going to go through every single stat that I have here. I'm going to actually put it on the side of my vlog like um, Last 20 Pounds does because when I did a marathon of her vlogs, me being able to reference where she was at with her weight loss as she spoke on her vlogs helped me a lot. So I'm figuring I'll go ahead and I'll do that too in case that could help someone else. So anyway, so fast forward to now. Um, I already explained how my, uh, my mini steak day did. I did that on my uh, vlog yesterday right before Super Bowl when I went like kind of on a venting tangent and um, I made the choice of uh, putting part of my title about Tom. So I think any men out there just didn't want to watch it because, oh my gosh, he's going to talk about Tom to you, you know, time of the month. And any women out there probably wouldn't, you know, necessarily want to see it because they're thinking, oh, she's just going to crab about Tom. So, uh, but I do want to thank very much um, Latin Juliet because she commented almost right after I posted it and thank you so much. You just were so understanding about where I was at uh, and I just felt that we were kind of in sisterhood of dealing with Super Bowl. <laughs> so thank you. I really appreciate it and you look great. I was watching your vlog today and you just look fabulous. So uh, speaking of the Super Bowl, you know my friends that were naturally thin came over and we had a great time and it was fun. And what happened was, is I ended up not getting my dinner in because of it, because I thought I'd have dinner right after they left, 
they didn't leave till pretty later on past the game so by the time I thought about dinner I felt it was too late to have it so I pretty much just had uh, my lunch portion an apple and then a handful of strawberries along with my Cali kickers and uh, my vinegar my apple cider vinegar that I douse myself don't douse it <laughs> don't douse it on me I just you know chuck it with um, spoon so I had that and then that was pretty much it so for this morning I came in and I weighed at uh, I, I released 1.6 so that gives me a total of 19.4. So that's pretty good. So you figure, um, I think on my vlogs, I've been always chronicling, chronicling my days by when I started the food program for HCG, not my load days. So even though my little paper here says um, this is my 25th day, I think really I'll pro I think on my vlog it'll end up saying 23 because I always fear those two days of loading they just kind of don't count to me because you just know you're gaining rather than losing so um, so that's that's where I'm at I have lost 19.4 in anywhere from 23 to 25 days depending on if you want to count the two load days so I'm pretty happy with that uh, I made the huge mistake today of actually uh, mentioning to my co-workers what I've lost so far and their reaction wasn't positive or encouraging or supportive so I've learned my lesson there I've got to definitely just stick with what I say to you guys and and that's the thing I think I really thank you guys and those of you that don't like me think I'm too corny or too cheesy or too whatever with my dogs and pratfalls I guess I can't help but want to try to make fun of myself it I've been like that as long as I can remember um, I guess it's a thing where I'd rather laugh at myself before someone can laugh at me I'd rather than laugh with me so I I just go to 10 that way um, I uh, so I hope that if any of you out there have not really cared for that type of person like me I apologize but it kind of helps me just survive if that that makes any sense um, I just I just I don't I don't do well if I can't laugh at me <laughs> how does that make any sense okay I'm just gonna wrap it up because I'm not making much sense um, I did eat everything I was supposed to eat today that was very good and actually I was in that mood again where I really was thinking why do I vlog should I vlog does it make any sense that I vlog um, I really love just encouraging everybody else on their journeys and their vlogs and on Facebook and um, then I was also realizing that I was hungry yeah I, for some reason today I was a bit hungry I'm sure it's because I didn't have enough of what I was supposed to have yesterday and it's my first day back on taking an injection so I'm sure my, my system has to kind of build that back up in my system so um, I thought you know instead of sitting here just kind of thinking about how I'm hungry I'm going to go up and I'm going to just, you know, drum up some courage and actually show you guys what I totally look like, you know, in jeans and a shirt. And someday I'll actually take off, or I won't take off my shirt, but I'll take off, uh, I'll put on a shirt that shows my arms. So, you know, dun, 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 that'll happen someday. So, and um, it'll be great, it'll be great when it does. All right, so... Again, thank you. Thank you for putting up with me. And um, you guys are really the best. I, You guys give me encouragement every day from me being able to watch you. Okay? Thanks. Bye.